Hello, my name is John Cooper. You can usually find me in the 11 o'clock service or in the six. I was recently looking for some light reading and I found and have been rereading after about 30 years the growing up pains of Adrian Plass. I was struck by a particular phrase he used. He found that he could join in with the praise during times of being with others in church. However, and this is the phrase that struck me, he wrote, God never came home with me. When he was at home, there was no realisation of the presence of God. In fact, he wasn't altogether convinced that God existed at all when he was at home. I wonder if any of you have felt like that. It's great when with others, but doubts jump in when you're alone. I have to admit that there have been times when I've felt at least a little like this. When there have been doubts about the presence or even the existence of God. I can imagine that this could have been possible during the last three months when being at home has been all that's been possible for some people. Church gatherings haven't been allowed at all. There's something about singing together when praising God that helps us to come into his presence. Being in church helps many people to feel the presence of God. The stained glass, the sound of the organ, the worship group, the fellowship, the liturgy, the teaching, the singing, just being in God's house. I'm certain that out there, there are people who feel that God is just not as close. After some searching and praying and thinking, I came back to the end of Matthew's Gospel. And surely I am with you always, even to the end of the age. He doesn't say, I am with you in church or I am with you when you're with other Christians, or even with other people, Christians or not. He actually says, I am with you always. God is always there and always available to us. There may be doubts. There may be questions. We may not feel like God is there, but he is. And he doesn't object to us having doubts and questions. He's a great big God, big enough to accept and deal with doubts and questions and feelings. So what do we do? It's trite to say it, but read the Bible. Talk to God. Try listening to God. Sing a hymn or a praise song. Probably even start by singing. We're so fortunate to have a daily array of offerings on the website. Or things available in written form if you don't have the internet. Use them. There are other verses we can turn to in scripture. The psalmist says, I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. In Psalm 73 verse 23. And in Joshua we find, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Or as it's paraphrased in the message, don't be timid, don't get discouraged. God, your God is with you every step you take. And you will be able to find other verses which speak particularly to you. From next Sunday, we're going to be able to go into St George's for a simple service although we won't all be able to go at once. If anything that I've said seems linked to you, contact the church and arrange to be there one Sunday in the near future. God never sleeps. He's always there and available if we will seek him and open the door to welcome him in. <laughs>